morning. <clears throat> it's about uh, 7 a.m. Thursday the 18th. Uh, I'm at a hotel in Ridgecrest. Uh, Jean and I got off trail. At first we were thinking we'd come in, resupply, and, and then head on, but then we decided to stay a night and that way we could also get some logistics figured out to get back home and uh, so I was able to book my flight home because we know from here it's three to four days to get to uh, Kennedy Meadows. Uh, the trail angel and her husband that picked us up yesterday, she's picking us up here in a couple of hours and then she's going to pick us up next Monday from Kennedy Meadows to get us to uh, either LA directly or probably to uh, a town called Lancaster where I'll, I'll catch a shuttle right to LA uh, airport. So, um, so it really, really helped to, to uh, stay here and get all the logistics figured out, plus a shower, clean clothes, nice bed, that kind of thing. So uh, in about, uh, well, we'll be on the trail probably in about three hours. Uh, this town is about a half an hour from the trailhead, so it's a bit of a ways, but um, it, it's nice to have someone like this this lady uh, uh, give us a ride, plus give, she gave us all kinds of information on how to get to L.A. I wish I'd known about her before I flew down here, because instead of taking an Uber, I, there's an actual express right to, to Acton, but hey, it's, uh, the more you're out here, the more you learn, and... Uh, it gives me ideas for future hiking down here as well. So, anyway, um, didn't get a chance to use the pool. It was 98 degrees when we got here yesterday, so it's going to be a hot one. So when we start hiking, we're hoping to get some elevation so it cools off a bit for us. But I'll let you know. This is mile 658, China Lake Overlook, it's called. There's a research base there, naval actually base for China Lake, and Edwards Air Force Base is down there somewhere as well. It's quite the view from here. It's called, uh, this spot is called China Lake Overlook, and I just signed a log book that's in that little case. So people will know I'm here, or was here. Well, good morning, it's Friday, the 19th of May. It's uh, 5.30 in the morning. Uh, we hiked 13 miles yesterday. I didn't video much at all. I think I maybe did one. <clears throat> uh, we stopped at uh, Joshua Tree Spring. It's a little later. It was about 5 in the afternoon and we were chatting with these people from Texas. So, didn't video. But today, uh, we're heading to... Chimney Creek Campground, 17 miles is our plan. We've got, uh, I, I think we're at mile 665, I think, right now. I'll verify later, but uh, it's going to be warm. It was warm yesterday, but it wasn't too bad. Lots of rocky trail, which makes it tricky. Hard on the ankles. You really have to watch your step when you're hiking in those conditions. Uh, yeah, we got dropped off at the trailhead yesterday morning by our trail angel Cindy at uh, about 10 a 10 a.m. The Walker Pass trailhead. So it was a later start, um, and. Uh, We've made arrangements. She's going to pick us up at Kennedy Meadows on Monday. So 
we've got our ride out of Kennedy Meadows, which we should be there Sunday morning ish. <clears throat> Maybe Saturday, it depends how ambitious we get, but I'm thinking it's Sunday. And there's uh, lots of people looking like uh, they're leaving Kennedy Meadows, but there are some that are heading into the Sierras. The word's getting around. People are making their plans. Of course, we're not going any further than that. So, this is what it's looking like. It's 5.30 in the morning. All right, it's uh, 7.15, hiked about five miles. Uh, it was warm to start with, but right now I'm in a section that's kind of really shaded. Uh, the trail is nice. The, uh, there's a the sound of a creek flowing nearby, birds. You do, you, you, <clears throat> you do get moments on the trail where it's like it's almost perfect and uh, yeah this is one of those we'll be stopping for water here soon but right now I'm just coming out of that little grove that was really really something uh, I like those moments in the mornings And there goes John, slightly ahead of me. All right, here we are at Spanish Needle Creek. Jean was very smart. He stopped it the third time we crossed it. That way we save a little bit of water carry. I get it. Good timing. Uh, it's about... This is like French Creek. French Creek. Spanish. Oh yes, yes, of course. Uh, all Canadian Creek. <laughs> so, just in time. I had about a liter to get here. My coffee is almost done. Yeah, that's cold coffee, Starbucks. I don't uh, take the time to heat anything up in the morning. So I'm gonna, we're gonna stop here, get some water, and we've got 11 or 12 miles to go to Chimney Creek. And then, yeah, I'll have a little bite to eat here as well, so. It's been a good morning so far. It's about uh, 10 to 8. For the snacks and the drink. Thank you guys. You're most welcome. <laughs> Happy hike. I got it, right? Yeah? Yes. Yeah. Okay. yeah. What was the trail names again? Giddy. Giddy? And Wakey. Awesome. All right. I'm Brother. Nice to meet you, Brother. Yeah. We'll see you in a couple of days. Yeah, and. Uh, I'll buy you a beer if you if you partake. He does not, but you're welcome to buy me one. Okay, you well, I'll buy you some kind of beverage then. <laughs> they got a great root beer in Grumpy's. Yeah, well, I've and I've eaten there before. Perfect.